Hello everybody, my name is Ord and welcome back to the Ord Narrations channel. Today we're reading a story titled, Found out last night that my wife of seven years has been cheating for the past three weeks. As always, if you appreciate these videos and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss the latest upload. As it turns out, only about 5% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you subscribe, it'll really help out the channel and spread the message to more people who need to hear it. Right, let's make a start. The title says it all, I guess. I just don't know where to go from here, what to do, what to feel, what to think. I'm just all over the place and exhausted. I cannot rest or sleep. I'm angry and frustrated. I feel betrayed, dejected and numb all at once. I guess I just needed to reach out and write it down, for whatever small amount it was. How do we deal with all of these things? Whoa. And this one's fresh as well. Three weeks is not a long time. Let's have a look at the comments. Someone left a comment saying, start gathering and saving evidence. Someone replied saying, save it in a secure location. And someone else replied saying, chances are this is the first time she's been caught. Married for seven years is a long time, not including how long you were dating. Someone else left a comment saying, you deal with it by facing reality and divorcing a cheater. That's it. That's the answer. You just need to be strong enough to accept it. That and let family and friends know why you filed for divorce. Why you filed. Naming her the affair partner. Remove her from the pedestal you've placed her on. Treat her more like she is the mother of your children, if you have any, that is. She's not the person you married. In fact, after you file, have her stuff packed and set in the living room and let her know she can move in with him. Someone else left a comment saying, You won't like what I have to say, but the truth is she has no regrets about the affair. She enjoyed it. She enjoyed being with him and she chose him over you. She betrayed you in the most intimate way possible, choosing to satisfy her own selfish desires over your emotional well-being. She willingly had sex with him, knowing it would likely end the marriage and would devastate you emotionally. She didn't care and cheated anyway. She made a thousand choices to be in a position to cheat. She betrayed you countless times, then lied to your face to cover it up and manipulated you using your love for her against you. She does not value you nor your marriage. She's only interested in herself. Her only regret is that she got caught and now has to deal with the consequences. That's not a person you want. Stay strong and stay away from her. The only thing you could do is concentrate on yourself to do what's right for your own mental health. I highly recommend that you start off by kicking her out and going 100% no contact with her, except for discussions about divorce, and then focus your efforts 100% on being a better version of you. Her absence from your life through no contact will help you heal faster. 100%. Someone replied saying, I was thinking about those thousands of decisions that had led to the physical the actual physical cheating that hit me hard when I found out. Every decision, to text, to flirt, to build up of where and when to meet, all of that was enough for me to know I couldn't reconcile. OP, she was in bed next to you snapchatting him. That's such a betrayal. I'm so sorry. Someone left another comment saying, get a lawyer. Do whatever your lawyer says to do. Separate from her. Ask your lawyer if you can do that. And they write, look up Grey Rock or the 180 as it relates to relationships and practices with her. Your marriage is over she's murdered it. You need to put your kids first and yourself as number two. She's not a factor anymore. She doesn't get any emotional or physical comfort from you. You have two choices, reconciliation or divorce. Since your marriage is gone, you need to forge a new one if you want reconciliation. Go to the sub as one after infidelity, but she has to be extremely willing to put the work in. Otherwise, slap her in the chest with the divorce papers. Immediately separate your money, close joint accounts, cancel the cards, cancel Amazon, cancel your phone plan, change your payroll deposit to a new account, hit the gym, go for a walk. Physical activity will help you. Fill your time with self-improvement. Get professional certifications. Join clubs. Volunteer. Volunteer with a charitable organization that helps people directly like Habitat for Humanity or local soup kitchen. You'll see that you don't have it so bad. Good luck. You deserve this. Someone else left a comment saying, See a doctor. They see, they see this a lot and have a treatment plan to help you sleep and control mood swings. Hit the gym, hit the gym, drink only water. Don't make any decision to divorce or reconcile for 90 days. Don't cry or beg or guilt your wife to stop. It doesn't work. The best strategy to win her back is for you to calmly and decisively inform her that you are inclined to divorce, but you'll give her a final decision in 90 days. And if she has any interest in marriage, she needs to go zero contact. Yes, whatever that requires, including a new job, immediately. Someone else left a comment saying, you deal with them step by step, day for day, and it'll get easier. For now, try keeping a cool head and decide on how you want to proceed. What you should do no matter what is get proof or documentation first, and then play it safe when you confront or record the encounter somehow, because you wouldn't be the first facing wrong accusations by a confronted cheater. Next, if you consider reconciliation, 
You don't have to just put divorce on the table. You have to actually start the process. So lawyer up because you also want to know what you would have to expect legally. But let me tell you this. How did you find out and how far did she go in her cheating? Just to be able if there's anything left that's worth saving. OP replied saying, I'll use this post for a recap for all the questions in the replies so far, as best as I can recall. Found out when I opened her phone to turn off her podcasts after she fell asleep. Snapchat, the app where it was open with texts, photos and videos of her to this dude with mention of a single encounter. Seems to be more physical than anything, but hard to know since I only saw it was saved. Took a recording of all the stuff so far and ended up pacing about for an hour before confronting her because I couldn't sleep. Some stuff she said, not much that I honestly remember, and that's on me. She said it was purely physical, and while I don't know the guy's temptation, and while I don't know the guy, temptation will always be there as it's a workplace issue. I want to thank you all so far for the posts. Lots to think about, and it'll be getting a lawyer to start figuring out this process. I don't know if reconciliation is on the table, and the suggestion to wait 90 days before the final decision feels right. I need time to process. A long hot shower seemed to have worked, and I'll get some and I'll try and get some rest. Again, to all, thanks for the advice and the listening. Someone replied saying, you're taking all the right steps. They're too comical when they come with the, it was only physical, like if somehow that makes it better. Lawyer up and handle your business. There is no need to waste time trying to figure out how, why, or when, or any other bullshit excuse she can come up with. If the other piece of shit has a spouse, let her know. The why of it that you may want to know is very simple. She did it because she could and wanted to. Plain and simple. From what I've seen, it's really not a complicated motivation. Really base urge. Like it's not particularly highly motivated or have high thought behind it. Even if there's lots of planning, it's a pretty crude. Yeah, it's just pretty crude. Right, what do you think OP should do? What would you do in OP's shoes? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you enjoy these videos and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss the latest upload. Alrighty, thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.